Good morning. This is another training video brought to you by the Communications Department of the Santee Fire Department. Today we're going to be talking about the Kenwood Mobile Radio, specifically the new uh, VHF programming and the command feature that is now programmed into the Kenwoods, the mobile radios, much like the portable radios. Just to kind of quickly go through the groups. In the left hand corner here, the number one, you'll see there's three groups. Group two, group three, back to group one. You can see Monte Vista Local is the channel that's on right now currently. All the other features and buttons work the same. You do want to come out and familiarize yourself with the radio. As we dial around, you'll notice a lot of the same channels. They've all been narrow banded, so there's a little difference there that you won't see visually, but, to, but operationally. Okay, there is a change. XSD Command, TAC, North Command. Those are old uh, San Diego yellow channels and red channels. Some San Diego Fire Department VHF channels and then some VTACs, which were the old uh, white channels that we used to have. We still have white one, but some of the other ones are changed now. Just to kind of give you a reference point to look. Here's your air to ground. And it's going to get back to Monta Vista Local. So as you go around, you look at the different ones. There's 33 channels in Group 1. 44 channels in Group 2. When you go to Group 3, there's 163 channels. The home channel now, when you press the home channel, which is the CH1, takes you back to Group 1, Monta Vista Local, which is the, uh, the local dispatch channel here for CDF, for CAL FIRE. And quickly, next I'm going to talk about the command feature. To activate the command feature, you're going to dial up the channel you want. Channel you want. So, for example, we'll use CDF Command 1. You're going to come over to the orange button on the far right. You're going to press and hold. When you do, you'll notice up in the right-hand corner of the screen, a little C is going to come up. Okay, it's going to come up and then disappear. That means you've now selected Channel 1. Let's go to... Let's try uh, CDF air to ground, same thing. Press and hold. See the C and it disappears. Let's try one more. Let's go to TAC 5. We're going to press and hold. We added that to the command group. Now to get to the command group, you're going to use your up down arrow keys for the groups. Remember we had three groups before. Group 2, group 3, now there's going to be two group ones. The first one you see gives you the, the C up in the corner. What that's telling you is that's the command group. When you press it again, I get the regular group one, which I can dial around and gives me all the different channels. So let's go back down. If I keep going, it goes to two, three, then again to the command group. Now when I dial the channel selector, you'll see all I'm going to get is those channels that I put in the command group. So CDF command one, air to ground, and TAC 5. If I keep turning, it just repeats. Those are the only channels that are in that group now. So now effectively you have a command group. To remove those from the command group, all you're going to do, press and hold the orange key again, and you'll see it disappear. Press it for about one second, it disappeared. If you press and hold continuously for five seconds, it'll get a long beep and it all disappears and all of them are deleted from the command group. So as I rotate through the groups again, two, three, and back to one. The command group is now gone. So take a look at the radios, get out and play with them. Wildland season's here. If you have any questions, give the communications department a phone call. Thank you. And this has been another training message brought to you by the communications department of the Santee Fire Department. Bye-bye.